Hey Planarholics! Today I'll be sharing a really interesting notebook. As you can see from the cover, it's called the Coloring Notebook. But the main idea is that it combines the structure of a simple notebook and it includes a bunch of coloring pages throughout. It's really quite genius because its uses are endless. It's not only a coloring notebook, but a journal which you can give it a purpose of your choosing. So let me give you a really quick review. As you can see, it's a nice and compact size. It has an elastic band for easy closure. The back has the logo in a really pretty embossed lettering. It's also a tough hard cover, so I'm sure you can take it anywhere and it won't get beat up. And it's also really lightweight and it's made up of 176 pages. For those who like to bullet journal, here is a size comparison with the famous A5 Leuchtturm notebook. It's really about the same. The coloring notebook is just half a centimeter wider and taller, but both have rounded edges and are just as sturdy. When you open it up, the back part has a pretty wide pocket which can fit any loose papers or stickers that you want to keep or store. The front, as you can see, is very simple and minimal. You have a few lines here to, in case you want to write your name and details or give your notebook a title. And then the notebook starts with an empty page. Now, I have the ruled version, but it's also available in blank or dotted grid pages. When we turn, it goes ahead and incorporates the first coloring page. And it just goes like this throughout the notebook. Every few blank pages, you get a coloring page. It is also thread bound, as you can tell, and the paper quality is quite resistant. You'll see a pen test in a minute. It's actually a 100 GSM acid free paper. And the rest of the book just goes on like this. You have a ton of different designs, which are just gorgeous. There's intricate ones or simple ones for just about any creative person out there. The notebook also includes this ribbon bookmark to save your page. And I guess the only negative thing that I could say about the notebook is that it doesn't lay completely flat. You sort of have to flatten down your page, but it's not really a big deal. I'm sure as you use it, you can train the notebook. So now I'm going to go ahead and use this page in the back to do some pen testing with some of my most used writing utensils and show you the outcome if it bleeds through or shows shadowing. Obviously, since my notebook is the lined version, I'm going to be writing in it. But if you get the blank version, you can very well do sketching or drawing. And if you get the dotted grid, it would be great to use as a bullet journal. You would have really inspiring coloring pages within your layouts and I think it would add a touch of artfulness to your bujo. For those of you who claim to be not so artsy but would really like a bullet journal that is colorful and unique. This is a really nice option to consider if you want that type of notebook. So here is the result of my pen testing. As you can see, the only one that really bled through is my permanent marker. It is the Stadler Lumo Color, and this is the pen that I generally use to write on top of washi tape or glossy stickers, so it's not really a big deal. And I guess the other one that semi could bleed a little bit is the 0.8 Stadler Pigment Liner, but just barely. I'm going to do a bit more testing with a few cheap highlighters I have and also this pack of markers just to see if coloring with markers could be an option. So here it is, no bleed through whatsoever nor shadowing. This is pretty great to know, but I'm more of a coloring pencils type of gal, so I'll be doing all of my coloring with those. As I was saying earlier, my intentions for this notebook is to use it as a writing tool. And I actually have these writing prompts from like 2013 
that I never got around to doing. I'm going to try and see if this is still available for download and leave it below if anyone is interested. But it's a really great way to practice writing a little bit every day. And I do have my Hobo Nichi for that, but it's more of a daily what I'm doing kind of writing. This one is more deep thinking and I'm actually considering things that maybe you never thought about. So I'm interested in seeing how that will turn out and the coloring pages will give it an extra therapeutic feeling as I love to color as well. So this notebook will definitely serve its art therapy purpose in more than one way. And now just for fun and to break into the notebook, I thought I would color a page using my brand new coloring pencils, which I'm really excited about. So I hope you enjoy and found this video useful. Be sure to check out the coloring notebook website. I'll be leaving all of the information down below in the description box. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any more of my content. Thanks for watching and I'll leave you with some music to enjoy the coloring process. Talk to you soon! Bye everybody!